I'm Tyler Wood Bushcraft. And I'm Justin Van Ferrari with Waypoint Outdoor Adventure. And I'm Mark from Rolling Homestead. And this is the seven day extreme winter challenge, Northern Wisconsin. What's going on guys? It is officially day two and it's freezing cold. Uh, my hands are just numb, everything is numb. I ended up sleeping with my emergency baby last night and uh, I am just frozen. Actually the baby had so much condensation in it that it just soaked my entire clothes. So I need to get a nice big roaring fire going and I'm going to use the only brand that I trust is black and white fire starters. So I'm gonna get this going. I'm not gonna go all primitive with a ferro rod. I'm gonna use my lighter because So here you guys go. This is what I was uh, lighting. These are the fire bites by Black and White Fire Starter. But big thank you, big shout out to Paul Corona at Black and White Fire Starters for sponsoring this video. All right, so I guess this is going to be my official uh, good morning. Uh, I probably woke up about an hour ago, just freezing cold. I had the emergency bivy on. I was uh, just soaking wet from all the condensation inside that, that bivy. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, get, get a chance to, uh, you know, do the whole, uh, good morning wake up thing. Oh, yeah. Whew. Oh, ah, beautiful. I'm alive. I made it. What's the temp? Zero degrees. It's definitely a lot warmer in there. That kept me toasty warm. I just had my 20 degree bag. Part of filming. You want me to back it up a little bit for you? Uh, right. Good? I think right there is good. Okay. All right, guys. Day two. I am. Uh, I'm using that new mug. Uh, thanks to Justin and his sponsors by Infusco. So I'm excited to use this. We got some cowboy coffee going on right now. Uh, this is a, uh, a percolator that we're using. Uh, we're not using the uh, the filter that these come with, but you can pick these up at Walmart. Really cool. As you can see, you got coffee grounds all up inside. But uh, hopefully those are going to set to the bottom. Really good uh, tip that uh, Justin was telling me is if you take some snow, it'll actually kind of push those grounds down to the bottom. That way you don't have a mouthful of coffee grinding. So we're gonna take a little bit, drop that in there, and uh, enjoy ourselves some cowboy coffee. All right, we're gonna take out our, our just top quality high tech uh, Ozark Trail. Uh, this is their like multi-purpose uh, full tank knife. I mean, it actually did pretty well, as you guys can see. It just cut that bacon right in half. So that's that's a good sign.
What's going on guys? Uh, part of day two. We do have some delivery. Uh, this did come in Monday. I had to uh, track back up to the uh, the vehicles to uh, go get this out. But uh, this came in Monday. It is from a really good friend and another sponsor for this video. Uh, Annihilator Air Guns. Uh, my good buddy Troy. I want to thank him so much. I, I do know what's in here, but I will go ahead and, and show you guys what, what's in here. So take out my good old Ozark knife that you're using from Walmart. And uh, let's see what we got. So he hooked us up with a air rifle. I have all the, the specs on this. I will, uh, I'll have them down on the bottom. Um, he sent uh, some pellets. I know he said this was a, uh, a 1.77 uh, curb. And then he also has uh, some that some new products coming out besides the air guns. Um, this right here is a, a new uh, trap system that he came up with. This is made out of super light aluminum. You got your uh, your your stake pole here. You got your your bait line, and then uh, we got our our trap, which I will try to unravel this and show you the way this works. Is you'd have this on the bottom, and see how this pivots, and then uh, as soon as a, a animal would come, you would obviously have this line nice and <laughs> nice and tight. So how this would work is you'd have your uh, your heavy object up here, like a rock or a log or something. Have a nice heavy uh, base too. That way it would really crush whatever you're you're going after. And as soon as this trips. It'll, you know, that would fall down. I don't know why I kept holding it. Trip it, it would fall down. Your heavy object would come down. So, uh, for all you guys that struggle with the the figure four or some kind of deadfall trap, uh, these are going to come really handy. This will, uh, he, he makes these, and uh, they'll they'll come with a pouch. This is just the uh, prototypes. Uh, like I said, there'll be many different sizes for whatever game you're going with, but. Uh, I thought that was really cool. We're gonna we're gonna test this out and see if we can trap ourselves a some sort of a rabbit or, or a squirrel or something like that along those lines. Big shout out to uh, like I said, Annihilator Air Gun. So. All right, so here it is. We got it out. I'm gonna take my first shot and and uh, see how she kicks. I was told she's got a little bit of a kick on it. Uh, you know, just a good general reminder. Uh, shooting finger, trigger finger, always stays off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Never point at anything you don't plan on shooting. So here we go. Woo! That's nice. She does got a little kick to her, huh?
All right, you guys been seeing me use a lot of that silky saw. Uh, that part of that 12 item kit is this little Ozark hatchet. I don't think this is going to do the job, but we're going to go ahead and try it out anyways and see. I could be wrong. Luckily this is pretty dead, so it's actually not doing too bad of a job. There you guys go. Just like that. Ooh. That one zoomed in on me. There we go. That little hatchet right here from uh, Ozark Trail. Let me take that off. That actually did not work out all that bad. So, uh, but then again, that was a, a, a dead tree. So, uh, if we find some underbrush that needs to be taken down, we'll go ahead and try that on some some live fresh trees so one time and it didn't work very well. You'd think it burned well because the oil's in the bark, but the wood itself doesn't burn well. Oh, really? Even working outside and even though it's cold out, it's definitely a good thing to uh, keep hydrated. Um, you know, so. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh, there's a little bit of water left in there, but that's all ice. All ice. And, uh, and like I said, you know, I'm out here in my hoodie, but my, uh, my water bottle here is just completely frozen. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Frozen water, so... If I was a smart guy, I'd put this in my hoodie as I go around and get my daily uh, camp chores done and working on my shelter here. Uh, but nothing's, there's no fun about carrying around a big old brick of ice in your hoodie. So let's get to going.
think that way because I mean, we know which way we got to run the cameras. That one's a long piece, so we might want to cut that down to match the others. That's that's hardwood too, or I don't know. It's it's not pine. We want to we might want to save that for a fire. Yeah. But you got a lot of pine in there. Yep. All right. I think we're gonna stick with the window. So what we can do too is we can find some poles and we can stick it here on the end, mm -hmm. and then on that end, and then on that end, and then the, the string should help. Well, and you know, honestly, we can, it's going to shield the snow, we could, you know. <laughs> anything fancy, just want something that the rope will grab onto. I just did it backwards. is full. That's two. Ah, perfect. Hard's full, huh? Yep, that's two. Oh, 32 gig? No, 128. What? You're filming in 4K? Okay, I'm, I'm filming in uh, 60 frames per second, 1080p. Oh. First one was, uh, that one might be 64. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, I've got a 128. I feel like I've been filming more than, more than you, and I don't have a... <laughs> Justin Hart at work over here. Mark got this. Mark and Justin both got the uh, the wall up around the fire, so we don't have to deal with the smoke tonight. And then there's Mark. 
all six and a half foot of mark. <laughs> That's our little fire pit for the night. All right, this fire tonight is sponsored by Black and White Fire Starters. The only fire starters I trust to do these extreme cold winter challenges. This is the Black and White itself. And we're gonna go ahead and get a fire going just using this. And we're not even gonna mess around with kindling or anything like that. Once we get this fire going with this, we can throw big old heavy logs straight on there and get a nice fire going. So once we put that on there, oh, yeah. we're going to take our Walmart Special, the Ozark Trail Knife, and their ferro rod combo. Oh. And we're going to go ahead so and good. get this fire going. Let's see if we can get a fire going. The ferro rod is a little wet. Oh. So we're just going to scrape some of the uh, magnesium on here. Not that we really need it, but uh, hopefully trying to get a one one hit, uh, one strike fire going would be real nice. Almost, almost. One more time. There we go. Just like that. What was that? Two, three strikes, and we got our fire going. Now we can just throw some of these around the sides and this thing's gonna take off and we'll have a nice nice fire going. Especially in this cold weather. Absolutely love it. Thanks again to Paul Corona with Black and White Fire Stars. The I will have the link up in the little eye. And uh, definitely check it out. There is a really cool uh, really cool stuff that he's got, some really nice kits, along with some uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else he has. <laughs> uh, also, definitely check out uh, promo code TW18, I want to say. Uh, there's a promo code for you guys to get 20% off on all the black and white fire starter kits that he has. So, this is killing me. I'm, I'm really about to go up and get it. Huh? I'm about to go up and get it. We have deep. Justin's Bushcraft chair. That's almost a... Yeah. And they're frozen, so they'll last a good while before they uh, <laughs> need to be turned or anything. Master camera cinematographer now. Mm, so good and tasty. 
Yeah, okay, everyone recorded me. Yeah, there we go. Let's see how many cameras I can get in one shot. There's <laughs> there's three of them right there. <laughs> you got Tyler Wood guys, so go over and check out Tyler Wood. He is the chef tonight. I made breakfast. And he's making us some kind of... <laughs> My eyes are watering by this fire a little bit. Mark's doing his blog. I'm interrupting, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> Mark's filming me, I'm filming him. <laughs> we have our delicious steak de Burgo right here. Yeah, that's the good stuff. So we're gonna eat like kings tonight. We're not the peasants. All right. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Please keep us safe on this journey. Amen. <laughs> Go. Little overdone, but that's okay. For this recipe for steak de burgo, it doesn't matter how you cook the steak, it's gonna taste good. Anyone planning
this. I got my flashlight going. Here's my shelter. It's taken me two days now to build. Obviously, there's a lot of work going down, walking what it seems like forever to collect some nice straight wood. I got my little fire down here. Hopefully, that's enough to uh, keep me warm for the night. I got my hammock. This is all Walmart stuff, including the tarp. This is part of the seven day extreme winter challenge using only Walmart gear in northern Wisconsin. It's going to get down to negative 22 degrees tonight. So I'm going to climb up here. Hopefully I can get all my walls finished tomorrow. I got a good start over here. So you can hear some barn owls just going off in the background. That's Mark Shelter, his little cabin. Uh, that's Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. And this right here is uh, Justin with Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. And uh, we'll take a sneak peek. He's got this nice little walkway and little step that comes down. And uh, that's his uh, system set up right there. He's got a raised bed on some uh, pine boughs. So very nice. Make sure if you guys want to win the uh, the huge giveaway uh, to write in on watching every episode. Just kind of like how uh, Zach Fowler did on, on his uh, 30 day challenge with Craig Ovens. All right, it's time to claw in bed. Oh, as you guys can see, I got just my pants on, I got my boots on, my gaiters on. I am not doing any sleeping bag. So, here I am, I still have my coat on, no sleeping bag, negative, uh, what is it, negative 24 degrees out tonight. This is going to be harsh, it's going to be cold, I'm going to put my hoodie up and just kind of wrap myself around this. I'm even going to try without using the wool blanket that I got from Walmart. So this is going to be, this is going to be something else. As you can see it's already getting cold, my breath is already, let me see. Here's the, the roof, here's the back side of my wall getting built along with the roof. So I will see you guys tonight. Hopefully I don't wake up in freezing cold. Tyler out. This series is sponsored in part by Black and White Fur Sirs, the only brand I would trust. Annihilator Ear Guns, Good Buddy Troy. And Fisco Coffee, the only coffee I can drink without sh cream and sugar.